Ladies and gentlemen, let's read game into the com video. Let us discuss AMD's crossfire and frame rate pacing issues with their drivers. So, what exactly is the issue? Well, it was discovered earlier this year, that's 2013, that there were issues AMD had specifically um, with not only single card solutions, but especially their multi-card solutions. That would be crossfire, the art of running, say, two or three graphics cards. Um, in parallel to increase your performance. So it didn't take AMD long to fix the single card issues, but multi GPU configurations proved to be a bit trickier. And so back in September of this year, 2013, once again, they had stated that the driver should be ready sometime in November. November has been and well gone. And there's still no sign of the driver, but AMD have commented on this and they said, we're sorry, we are working on it, but unfortunately it's pretty much been slipped back and has fallen two months behind and is now going to be here in January. So, that means we're looking at about a 10 month window after the single GPUs had been fixed. So, what's going on? Why is there such a delay? Well. AMD haven't exactly stated the reasons as to why this is. However, likelihood is it's several reasons. The first is AMD are extremely busy right now. They've obviously just fixed the fan issues which have been plaguing the Radeon R9 cards. Now specifically, they weren't being consistent with the speeds they were running and so they were throttling a lot of the time, therefore equaling to poorer performance than what they should have been. In fact, it was so bad that some reviews had to actually be redone. So AMD have fixed that. <clears throat> Second issue, you've got to remember that AMD are also working on their own technology known as Mantle, which of course is an API, which they are hoping to, let's use the word complement DirectX. They pretty much are offering it as a bare, you know, coding to bare metal interface. The other one is Kavari. Now, this is basically the first real desktop APU, and that is also going to be planned to release pretty damn quickly as well. And so, this has pushed back the Phase 2 driver, which is specifically the one that is targeting Crossfire. This has basically meant that even if an AMD graphics card in Crossfire actually has a higher frame rate than that of a rival, NVIDIA. It could actually feel smoother on NVIDIA's product purely because the timing of the frames are just wrong or just, you know, not quite how they should be. So what AMD have also done is they've released what is known as the XDMA hardware and that's going to be part of the GCN 1.1 architecture. So in other words, that's going to be part of like the the R9 290Xs and so on. Now the purpose behind this is it's going to actually pass all the data rather than through the traditional bridge that you'd expect, which of course links on top of the two cards. Instead, it's going to actually put that through the PCIe bus. That's not to say that that's a perfect solution. There are issues with memory bandwidth regarding this, potentially in the future, particularly if you're dealing with very high resolution displays. But for now, it seems to be working quite well, and AMD are obviously going to be doing a lot of implementation on that in the future. So, the bottom line right now is that if you are curious, if you're wondering where it's going to be, it's going to be sometime January. They've not given us a date. It's not like they've said it's going to be the 15th of January or anything like that. We don't know when. All we know is it is indeed coming. So, I've also done an article for this. You could check it out. It's got uh, a couple of illustrations contained within if you're curious exactly how xdma and the rest of it works but for now i'm going to get going hopefully you've enjoyed the relatively brief video i'll see you soon take care bye for now